Okay, so in this tutorial, we're gonna be tackling a text design. I'm gonna provide the font we're gonna use, and it's gonna look like this. So we're gonna be insetting some stuff, adding some lights to the rim, adding three different shaders to it. We're not gonna tackle this background shader, that's just the, uh, the thumbnail design. But apart from that, let's get into it. So go in and add any text you want. You would hit Shift A and text, and then right over here where it says paragraph, put your alignment to the center. Right now it's usually right about the, the left, Put that at the center so we don't have any problems when we're scaling up and down and it's really nice and it stays centered for our designs. So hit tab and I'm going to type in blender. So there it is. That's the, the font, the text. Now we want to use a different font. So in the description, I provided this font right here. Uh, when it comes to picking the font for this particular workflow, you want to have a modern sort of very straight line. You don't want curvy or very stylized font fonts. You want very bold, cool fonts for this. So when it comes to picking that, be careful. I would advise just using the font that I've provided and then in your free time, pick, pick around and play with different fonts and see if they work for the same thing. So download that font and right here you're going to see a tab that says font and you're going to click this little folder and navigate to where you saved that folder. So you're going to see the Viking Squad font. I picked the first one up here. I haven't messed with any of these. They're probably slight variations but I'm gonna pick the first one. So there we have it, a good font. Now we're gonna to go to our search, hit edit operator search, and then type in convert. And let's say convert to and click mesh. So now if you hit tab, you see these. What you wanna do is hit A to select it all, hit X and click limited dissolve. And so now you have good clean topology and we don't have to retopologize it for this, just click it and click out. Now what you want to do is add a solidify real quick and then make it about as thick as you want. It's completely up to you and then click apply. So now we have this. So what we want to do is on all of these, just select the front, just select. So go up here, right up here, just click faces and hold shift and just click all the front faces, not none of the ones on the side. And then what we want to do, is right here, click inset faces. If you don't see that, it's probably minimized just right here on the left. Just click that and click inset faces and then just check it out. It goes in just like that. If you go in too far, we have problems. So we're just gonna give it right about that much space and then click extrude region. You're gonna see a little plus, just sort of push it in like that. And there we have it. Now, don't click away. Make sure that you still have those inside faces selected. We're going to go out of edit mode and we're going to add two materials to our object. So the first one, I'm going to make it metallic right here in the middle about that much that dark. We're going to add another one and I'm going to make this uh, sort of a slight green sort of in the blue green area and then go back to tab. Now that these are all still selected make sure the green material is selected and click assign. Go out and then just hit Z and now you can see that we have two different materials and that one's assigned to it. All right, the next thing we wanna do is add the lights on the inside of our text. So it's really easy to select those inside. So right here, you're gonna hit Alt and click the lines. And so now you're gonna, if you don't click the lines, you're gonna have problems. It's gonna select all the ones on that side. So click these lines and it's gonna get all on the inside of that. And then hold down shift and click the, I didn't do, I didn't hold down shift. There we go. So now we have both of those selected. Go out of edit mode real quick, add another material and make it emissive. And I'm gonna give a strength of 50 and I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna keep it white. Now go back to tab, make sure it's still selected and click assign. And now we have lights on the inside. And so that's really cool. If we go to cycles, you can kind of check it out. It looks, in my opinion, looks much better the way the light kind of spills out on the front of our, our text here. So you're just gonna wanna go back into each of the letters, hit Alt, click that, and then go into your materials, click assign, and just do that for each of them. And then come back and we'll finish the rest of the tutorial. Okay, so if you finish this part, we're gonna go to the rendering and we're gonna add the streaks in the compositing. So first we have to render it. So for your render settings, I put my samples right here at 600 and then my denoising 
I go into the denoising and add a strength of 0 0.1 and that just gives it a little bit of denoising just enough I think for the render and so render it and then come back and we're going to add those streaks. So when you're finished go over to the compositing preset you're going to have all these up here click compositing. So now we're in the compositor so hit shift a search and we're going to type in viewer. So this is important add the viewer node and over here just click fit so we can kind of see what's going on behind us. And the one node we're going to add is the glare node. So plug it in and you're going to get all these ridiculous streaks right here. Just click one streak. You can actually change the angle of these streaks if you want. Um, you can have some fun with that. Some pretty cool effects, but I'm going to keep it at zero. And then this is a little bit too much. So you're just going to crank down on the mix. And there you go, you have the streaks. There's some other settings you can go in and really play with how it looks. Like on the color method, it makes it very blocky. Um, so you can kind of see those RGB in there or on the fade, you can make it really long. Um, but apart from that, now you would just go back to the rendering tab right here, just click viewer node. And we can go to that node that we used and then hit image and then save as, and there you go. Okay, so that's pretty much the design. It's super simple. You can add that to some of your designs. It's much better looking than the Photoshop 3D for sure. And you can add these materials and do cool things. So I hope this works. I hope that you do it. Again, if you make the render, I have an Instagram. I'll link in the description. Uh, tag me in it if you want me to see it. I'm making a little highlighted feed for the tutorial guys. And you can guys can check it out and start the community and things like that. So yeah, there you have it. Thanks for watching.